graph a linear inequality using the TI-83 series of calculators. In this tutorial we'll graph a couple of inequalities and we will use the TI-83 graphing calculator. And For our first example we're going to graph the function y is greater than 3 fourths x plus 5. So here's the calculator solution. Just keep in mind that when graphing equations in your calculator you must solve for y in terms of x and notice that this condition is already satisfied our equation is solve for y so next we'll enter the equation into our calculator so we'll enter the y equals area and I'm gonna put in our function 3 fourths x plus 5 I'm gonna simply put my fractional coefficient within a set of parentheses that's 3 fourths times x plus 5. Next we have to de determine which side of the graph we want to shade. So here's the symbols we want to use. If our equation contains in greater than or a greater than equal to we want to use the portion where the upper half of the square is shaded for inequalities such as less than or less than equal to we want to use the bottom half of the shaded square so in order to find where these options are hiding in our calculator within our y equals we'll simply scroll to the far left and from this point I'm simply going to hit enter if I hit enter one time it changes the thin line to a thick line if I hit enter again this is our greater than or greater than equal to equality so next we're going to graph the equation we're simply going to hit graph the, the, the calculator graphs the line and also shades the appropriate side For our next example, we're going to graph 3x minus y is greater than or equal to 6. So here's the calculator solution. Remember that since we're graphing using our calculator, our equation must be solved for y. So we're going to take our equation 3x minus y is greater than or equal to 6, and we're going to solve it for y. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to add a negative 3x to both sides of our equation. So notice once we add 3x to our left hand side the variable cancels. Next we'll simplify and our equation is now negative y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 6 remember that we want to solve for a positive value of y so from this point we'll simply multiply both sides by a negative one and we'll distribute ne negative one on both the left and the right hand sides notice that once you multiply or divide by a negative number your inequality must reverse. So notice we started out with a greater than equal to. However, in the process, we multiply it by a negative number, which forces our inequality to reverse. So we simplify, and our equation is now y is less than or equal to 3x minus 6. and the solution continued from this point we'll simply enter the e equation into our calculator so we'll do that by entering the y equals and remember if you have an equation in there we'll simply clear that out and notice it changes our line back to the default and it clears our equation so now we'll shade we'll enter we'll actually enter the equation so I'm going to put in 3x minus 6 
our inequality is less than or equal to so here again I'm gonna scroll to the far left and remember the symbols we're gonna use if it's greater than or greater than equal to it's the upper portion if it's less than or less than equal to then it's the bottom portion of the triangle so I'm simply gonna hit enter three times and notice here's the bottom part of my rectangle and now we should graph the equation by pressing graph and here is the appropriate line and the appropriate area for shading for 